Okay, so if you're going to be using your laptop to scan your library books in your collection, you can do so. You'll just need a scanner, and you can get that from Miss Shirley. I sent some over to her, or um, there's wireless ones, and there's ones that plug into the side of your computer. Either way, you're going to take the dongle out of the bottom. It's a little USB chip. You're going to put that in the side of your laptop, and then you'll be ready to wireless scan. So you're going to go to the website libib.com. I'm going to act like I do not have an account and put get started. And you're going to choose the basic option up here at the top. You're going to fill in all this account information and start my library. So that's what you're going to do. This is actually my account. So I'm going to go back here to the beginning and I have collections already added. If I'm you and I'm starting a new collection, you're going to go on this left side panel where you have the bookshelf and the plus and you're going to add a collection. So once you add that collection, I'm going to call it Badger Eileen and then I'm at the intermediate school and I'm going to call it my classroom lib or library, whatever you want to call it, something that the parents will be able to see there. Um, so that's it. Then you add collection. You add the collection, and I don't have a scanner here at home, so for the sake of this video, I'll show you two different things you're going to do. Now I'm going to go to my collections because I'm going to add an item because those are my books, my media that I'm going to want to add. Again, I do not have a scan, a bark, or the scanner home with me, so I'm going to type in my books. Right here, when you're doing your collection, make sure it's on the collection you're adding to. You'll only have one. I happen to have three on here. But down here... I would just put the icon right here, ready to scan, and I would shine it on my ISBN, the barcode, scan it, not the school barcode, the ISBN number, scan it, and the book will pop up. I do not have that, so I'm just going to type mine. Um, it takes a little longer, and I would not suggest this. I definitely would scan using my phone app. So I'm just going to do search Roderick rules. I could have typed a diary of a wimpy kid and all that stuff, but I didn't. I just typed in Roderick Rules. This is the actual book I want, so I'm just going to click down here, Add Item. Again, if you had a scanner, you would just use that scanner, beep, 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 and all these books would be being added to your collection, and on the top here, it would say Item Added. So once you finish scanning your entire library, this is the important part. Once you finish all the books in your library, you're going to publish... You're going to publish that site. Does everyone see this is mine? This is my URL. Here you can change it or this is my URL. I'm going to make sure I copy this. I hold control C to copy. And then I go back to that long email that lady sent me. I click on my, I click here to go to my Excel file. I published my collection and then I go to mine I put my name in as a teacher here and then over here I paste control V my URL and that's I'm done and I email Miss Badger and let her know I've uploaded my entire collection and it's ready for review so those are the steps if you want to use your laptop again I think the phone is the easiest but if you're using this that's great